Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are looking at substitution today, which is solving variable expressions. What to expect that we'll talk about what a variable expression is, show how to substitute numbers into a variable expression, and then we're going to practice. So let's talk about a variable expression. A variable expression is basically a math sentence that has letters and operations. Letters can be any letter of the alphabet. We tend to avoid the letter I and the letter E, but um, and there's some other letters that are used for other math reasons. But you can use pretty much any letter you want to represent a number. So here's an example. This is N plus 1. N is a very common variable because it stands for number, right? Some number plus 1. This is a number times 3 times a number. That's multiplication when the numbers are written right next to the letters like that. This one here has two operations, division and addition. We've got um, another one, and another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. These are all examples of variable expressions. In other words, a letter and some kind of operation. And the letter just represents a number. It just represents some number that might change. It varies, hence the word variable. Um, and that's what the letter is. All right, there's our final one. Now what we're going to do is play a bit of a game where you try to find a variable expression. So I'll give you a sentence, and of these I want you to find which one represents what I'm asking. So here it is. Three times a number. See that on the side? Three times a number. Which of these variable expressions represents three times a number? Were you able to pick out this one? 3n. Three times a number. When a number and a letter are written right next to each other, it means that they're being multiplied. All right, let's try another one. Two less than a number. Two less than a number. Do you see that one up there? I'll give you a hint, it's yellow. There it is. This is n minus 2. It's 2 less than that number. If your number was 5, 5 minus 2 would be 2 less than that. It's sort of backwards the way it's written, 2 less than. Sometimes people m make the mistake of writing that as 2 minus n. But if it's 2 less than a number, you would actually write it as n minus 2. All right, the sum of a number and one. The sum of a number and one. Do we know what sum means? If you do, sum is meaning addition. So the one up there that is red is the sum of a number and one, because you're adding n, a number, plus one. All right. Our final one is five more than six times a number. Five more than six times a number. Can you see that one up there? It's in a color that kind of looks like the color that rhymes with the word must. From my point of view, at least, it kind of looks like it's the color rust. I think it's down here. It's like brown, brown rustish color. Um, Five more than six times a number. All right, so those are variable expressions. That's the way we can represent them and identify them. They are just numbers, letters, and operations. All right, now we're going to talk about substitution. That's how we solve a variable expression. When you're given a value for your variable or your variables, you can actually solve them. So if I have this, LW, that means L times W. You might have seen this before in an equation for area of a rectangle, length times width. We're just going to do length times width, and I'm giving you that the length is 5 and the width is 3. Often we'll write that like this, L equals 5 and W equals 3. That means now you have numbers for those variables. So you can plug in the number 5 for L and the number 3 for W. And it becomes 5 times 3, which is 15. That's what substituting is. It's pretty straightforward. You get an equation, or in this case, an expression, 
and you are given values that you plug into the expression and you solve it. So let's go ahead and solve this expression x plus 19 when you're given a value of x is equal to 8. It's pretty straightforward. That would mean that x goes in, 8 goes in where you see x, and it becomes 8 plus 19, which is 27. Okay, now let's change our value. We're going to change the value of x being equal to 7 for the same expression, x plus 19. Can you go ahead and solve that one? Pause the recording and try and solve that one. Okay, so we substitute x equals 7 into this expression, and you'll get 7 plus 19 is equal to 27, right? Is that the number that you got? I hope not, because it's wrong. It's actually 26, okay? Uh, you get points for effort, points for effort. All right. You can tell I did that on purpose, I hope. Yeah, I'm just testing you. Um, I knew that. All right, time for us to do a little bit of practice. So we're going to practice with different variable expressions, and I'm going to give you the expression and the value for your variable. Go ahead and pause the recording and plug that value into the expression and try and solve it. In this case, you're plugging n equals 4 into the expression 12 divided by n minus 2. The first step should look like this, where we substitute 4 in there for the letter n. And our next step, we're going to actually start solving this. 12 divided by 4 is 3, and 3 minus 2 is 1. Um, the reason we did the division before the subtraction is because order of operations tells us we do multiplication and division first, then addition and subtraction. All right. Another practice question. With our variable expression of 12y, I want you to solve when y is equal to 8. This is the solution. 12y means 12 times y. So that means 12 times 8, which is 96. Time to do another one. 12y when y is equal to negative 8. Ooh, throwing in a negative number. That's going to mess with us, isn't it? Try that one out. Try solving when y is equal to negative 8. And here's the solution for that. Same steps as we saw before. Only now we're multiplying times negative 8, and a positive times a negative gives us a negative answer. So our final answer on that will be negative 96. All right? It's important that we remember all the rules we've done in previous lessons. We remember the order of operations. We remember the rules for multiplying integers, multiplying positive and negatives. All right. Another practice question, 16 over a. This means 16 divided by a when a is equal to 4. Go ahead and solve that one. And here's the solution. 16 divided by 4 is equal to 4. Let's do it again when a is equal to 8. 16 divided by 8 is equal to 2. So we've done practice using all four operations. We've done addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division in our practice. When you substitute a value into an, an expression like this, that's what you're doing. You're solving variable expressions. So a quick recap, we talked about what a variable expression was, looked at some different examples, and actually pointed out how we would say them. We did some substitution and some practice. Hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.